Good morning, and welcome to our summer series, Bugs! Did you know there are more insects on the earth than all other animal species combined? Insects are amazing! Come along, let's see what our insect is for today. Hi everybody, welcome back to Stewardship. We're focusing this summer on things that you have at your house that you can donate to help out your community. This week, we're focusing on, what are we focusing on, Evan? Cereal. Oh, show everybody the cereal. Do you love to eat cereal? Yeah. Me too. Did you know that the average American eats 160 bowls of cereal for breakfast a year? That's almost every other day. So this week, see if you can find some boxes of cereal that you don't need at your house and ask your mom and dad if you can donate them to the local food pantry. Thanks and see you next week. Here's a Bob Marley tune for you. You guys have sang this one before, so sing along. everyone. Today we're talking about another one of my favorite insects, the walking stick. Walking sticks have a lot to teach us about being gentle and also about how to blend in and be one with our environment. 
So today we're going to go over and talk to one of my friends, Miss Janet at Retzer Nature Center and learn all about walking sticks. So my name is Janet Barthel. I am supervisor at Retzer Nature Center, a Wisconsin master naturalist as well. And so love sharing information about insects. They're so amazing. They're so diverse. Thousands upon thousands, they rule the planet in a good way because we need them. But we're going to talk about walking sticks. And so these are Retzer animal ambassadors. We have these in captivity. They're a particular species that's not native for right here. So when you find walking sticks in Wisconsin, they're going to be green, little different species. This one's lost its antenna in captivity, but it's six legs, head. Thorax goes right to here, just this in between, and then the abdomen's all down here. So almost always the legs attach off the thorax. You can see it's jointed, and uh, you know, uh, there's a knee there, there's a knee there, kind of cool. But they are herbivores, and so they eat plants. And so you'd find a walking stick it, probably in a tree, and it's going to be eating leaves. And the cool thing is, you know, kids will be like, wow, that's amazing camouflage. And, so true, but we really don't even call it camouflage, we call it mimicry. Because not only is it blending in with branches and sticks, um, it's looking like one. So its body resembles it. So you think, well, why would an animal do that? Well, it doesn't want to get eaten. And so it's a way to survive. When a tree is maybe blowing with the breeze, the, the walking stick will do the same movement because it just does not want to be eaten. It, want, I mean, it wants to eat the leaves, but not be eaten by a bird. And so it's doing all of that in order to protect itself. I think it also, if I remember right, if they are eaten, they kind of release a really nasty tasting substance. And so birds will spit them out anyway. So they have ways to defend themselves. So not only the way that they're shaped, but in some of their acts. But the cool part is, is they can reproduce two ways. Like females can just make more females all by themselves. They don't need a male, but they can also breed with a male. And it might be different species that do that. Do that. But they can breed with a male and then they will produce males. So they have a couple different ways to reproduce. Um, we just know that they lay little eggs in the substrate in their cages and we leave it alone. And suddenly we have teeny tiny little walking sticks. And so they're going through that incomplete metamorphosis again, where they're just getting, they're born as a tiny version of their adult self, but they're just getting bigger with probably five sheds of their exoskeleton. So, yeah, walking sticks, pretty cool. Stick bugs are amazing. They have so much to teach us about how to be gentle and kind to each other and the earth. Gentleness is all about being tender and loving and caring and humble in our words and our actions. Stick bugs were gentle with the earth and they were also, they mimicked the earth, remember? They had a gentleness of spirit. They were one with their environment. How can we also be gentle with one another and with our environment? Well, our memory verse today is from Proverbs. It says, A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh answer t stirs up anger. That means when we're gentle with one another, we can help make a situation better. We can speak our truth in love instead of speaking harsh words that might make people angry and make a situation worse. So this week, I want you to remember the stick bug and I want you to be gentle with one another. How can we be gentle? We can give hugs, we can say kind words, and we can be loving to one another. This week, I want you to get outside in nature and to remember the stick bug as you sit still and deeply breathe and be one with your environment. All right, be sure to send in photos for our end of the year video. Bye, everyone. See you next week.
Hey guys! Today, our memory verse is from Proverbs 15.1. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Now wrath, that means pretty much anger. So when you speak in turn and softly, then you won't be followed by anger. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Let's pray together. Repeat after me. Dear God, help us to be gentle with one another and the earth. Amen. Our blessing this week is to be gentle. So bless one another who are around you and say, be gentle, be gentle, be gentle. Thank you.